Welcome back to another Leaf Blower Revolution guide. This is the second guide of the series, and in this guide we'll be covering your first prestige all the way up to science. One thing I forgot to mention in the previous episode are apples. These apples gain a small leaf reward per collection, but become very irrelevant very quickly due to the scaling of them. To help you with the progress during this up this progression, we want to head up to the gem shop and purchase these upgrades. If you can't purchase these upgrades, it is perfectly fine, it just helps with progression speed. These upgrades include All Leaves Plus, which will increase your leaf rewards by 750%, Offline Profits by 750%, and then also Prestige Coins times 3. Once you've done that, let's head over to the coin shop. You would have gained coins by Prestige, and the coin shop menu looks like a yellow coin. <coughs> Once we've clicked that, the first thing you would want to collect is the unlock areas. What this does, it will unlock a tab so you can unlock new areas. Well, the first thing we'll do from here is close the menu and head over to that menu. The areas menu looks like a blue flag on a pole. Click that and you'll be welcome to that area. The only thing that we want to do here so far is by the mountain. Some other useful information here is that each uh, area will tell you which leaf type spawns there and also the material that spawns there. You won't see that there, it's because I have an upgrade there that tells me where it is, but they are relevant for this part of the game, so we'll leave that for now. Close the areas menu and head back to the coin shop. Once we're in the, the coin shop, we'll scroll all the way down to Prestige Plus Plus, which per level gives you 25% more prestige coins. <coughs> Another really useful upgrade is Upgrade Discounts, which would reduce all upgrade costs by 1% per level. Um, also, these upgrades here, which is more leaves, more gold leaves, and more which type of leaf per level. You'll only be able to purchase more leaves and more gold leaves, and possibly more platinum leaves, depending if you've unlocked platinum leaves. You want to upgrade these evenly across those four upgrades. And once you've done that, you want to head out and continue with the grind of the game. Once you've unlocked Platinum Leaves, you want to head over to the Areas tab and click on the Neighbor's Garden. Teleport there, and you'll be teleported to the Neighbor's Garden. <coughs> once you're here, you'll notice the background has changed and that there are these little things popping up over the screen. These are enemies. They have two bars, a blue bar and a red bar. The blue bar is the countdown, or when that countdown reaches zero or the bar disappears, the enemy will despawn. The red bar is its HP. To damage them, you need to blow leaves into them. When you have defeated an enemy, depending on which leaf hits them, it will give a bonus depending on that leaf. Once you're here, platinum leaves will start sporting, which will give you platinum leaves. <clears throat> Once you've got platinum leaves, you'll be heading over to the platinum shop to start upgrading there. All the upgrades are basically the same as the previous leaf shops, but this shop gives you leaf blowers, automatic leaf blower upgrades. These upgrades include more leaf blowers, ALB speed, blowing power, battery capacity, and battery charge rate. At the bottom you'll see slap force, which increases trout slap damage by 10%, but we don't need to worry about that at the moment. Once you've farmed through this, you'll, go, you'll be able to unlock bismuth leaves, and head over to the mountain, which we unlocked at the start. Click on the mountain, and you'll notice different enemies and the background has changed again. When you're here, you'll notice that the bismuth leaves and possibly the platinum leaves are harder to blow off. This is because they're heavier and require more blowing power to blow off the screen. To increase your blowing power, you can upgrade your tools depending on where you're at. So if we head over to the tool shop, and we're at bismuth leaves, we can buy the large paint roller or platinum leaves, which is the leaf pad leaf blower or the, air, the airplane turbine. You can also increase your blowing power by upgrading your nuclear fuel in the leaf shops. The bismuth leaf shop is basically identical to the previous shops with just different upgrades to do with damage with the ALBs. Once you go through this area, you'll have to prestige again for the second time. Once you've done that, let's head back over to the coin shop. This is where we can be more diverse with our upgrades and upgrade some quality of life upgrades. So, so the first things you would want to upgrade on your second prestige 
is upgrade more bismuth leaves and more platinum leaves so they give a nice bonus as well and also we can start unlocking printers and converters what printers do is is give you uh, every a leaf per second per printer so if you have 10 printers it'll give you 10 leaves per second depending on the type these printers can be purchased with coins and get quite expensive quite quickly what converters do is they convert previous leaves all the way into other leaves <clears throat> so if you have a basic leaf let's just say you have a thousand basic leaves you can convert them into about 50 normal gold leaves. You can upgrade the printers and converters to be more efficient and give more printers, but they are quite expensive at the moment. Also in the gold shop, these are auto upgrades. These are quality of life upgrades, which means that these upgrades here will be automatically purchased in each of those shops. Down the bottom, there are fruit upgrades, but you can do them, upgrade those if you have any spare coins. So after you've gone through there, you can go back to the areas tab, and once you have enough coins, you can upgrade more, unlock more areas. Once you've upgraded more areas, you can go there and get more leaves. So once you've got up to void leaves, so following the same process as you did as the previous leaves, you'd want to unlock red flasks. Red flasks are science, and that is where converters get in. Converters are where it's at, and is the only way to get these red flasks. This is the guide that I'm going to be stopping at at the moment, and the next video guide will be on red flasks to your BLC. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. I'll see you later.